How to qualify for Obamacare premium credits. Look, I'm not the biggest fan of Obamacare. I don't like how they did it. Uh, it matters not. It is what it is, and we're dealing with it now. So to, uh, to you just got you got to understand how it works so you can benefit from it as most as you can, and you should. You should take advantage of it to the best you can because it's worth a lot of money. I'm telling you right now. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the dogs. We're looking out the window. I think there might be some growling here. Federal poverty level. We got to understand what our what our federal poverty level is. This is important. All right. A measure of income issued each year by the Department of HHS, Health and Human Services, is used to determine your eligibility for certain programs and benefits, including savings on the marketplace. The 2022 federal poverty level, the FPL, are used to calculate eligibility for marketplace insurance plans. All right. So here we go. If you're a 2022 and you're an individual making $13,000, that is your federal poverty level. Huh. Now, what is not included in federal poverty level for Obamacare? We'll get in that here in just a second. If you're, say, Charlotte and me, that's $18,000, all right? So with the federal poverty level for you and your beautiful is $18,000 in 2022. All right, just keep that in mind. Let's scroll down here. Income above 400% of FPL. So $18,000 is the federal poverty level. We times that by four. So that's $36,000. That'd be $72,000 in 2022 for my wife and me. All right. Income above four times this means I lose some premium credits. Now, it's not a cliff anymore. Uh, it could become 2026, but because of the... Uh, so they just, I can't remember, they just passed something again. It wasn't the Inflation Reduction Act, or maybe, I think it was the Inflation Reduction Act. Anyway, be doesn't make. There's no cliff right now. So it's a gradual reduction of your credits once you go above 400% of FPL. So again, for just Charlotte and me, 400% above FPL is uh, $72,000. So if we make less than $72,000, we qualify for the 100% of the premium credits, all right? And we'll go down here. Uh, if your income is above uh, 400%, you may qualify for premium tax credits that lower your monthly premium for 2022. Income below between 100 and 400%, is, you qualify for premium tax, tax credits that lower your monthly health insurance benefit for uh, marketplace health insurance plans as well. All right. So that makes sense. Now, for me and my four, my four kids, for family six, for us to qualify, we need 44 uh, times that, which is what? Basically $150,000, man, roughly. Now, we have a family of six. So six, four times roughly 40000 Yes, yeah, it be about one hundred fifty. So as long as we kept our uh, credit below one fifty, we're going to qualify. In fact, let's go check this out. All right, so we're going to look at healthcare.gov. We're going to type in our zip code 3004. We're in Fulton County, and we're going to say we have a family of six. Uh, we're going to start. Is healthcare.gov. We're going to skip that. We're going to just skip this right here. Me and other people continue. Are you married? Yes, I am. Uh, yes, I will. How many? We're going to claim four people on my tax return. And I'll say I am 52. I am male. And as far as I'm used uh, as aware, I'm not pregnant. My wife is 48. As far as I'm aware, she's not pregnant. Um, my kid is 22. She's a female. As far as I'm aware, she's not pregnant. My other kid is 18, and she's a female. As far as I'm aware, she's not pregnant. My son is 15. As far as I'm aware, he's not pregnant because it says, "Are you parent? Are you pregnant?" It's kind of funny because 57 flavors. We all have to wonder who's pregnant anymore. All right. All right. So let's see here. So we got uh, six people in our household. We're gonna confirm. We're going to say our, our income is 100,000 schmackers. We'll just use that, boink. And we're going to see we qualify for credits of 1,800 bucks a month. Now, let's see what the plans are. We're going to go over here to, uh, to next. Actually, I think I want to filter it. Um, actually, I want to go back to filter. Hang on a sec. We're going to see, see they're all HMOs, man. That's the one. This is in Georgia now. That is the one thing that stinks but HMOs. Um, Georgia on Obamacare, it's all HMOs. But anyway, he's probably got some Kaiser plans. So I don't, I don't know what Oscar is. So it costs twenty two hundred bucks a month. I'd pay four ten for my whole family. It's an HMO. 
Got a deductible there, out of pocket max, sixteen thousand for the family. All right, so you know that's five thousand bucks here. It ain't cheap, but it's a hell of a lot cheaper than freaking twenty two hundred bucks a month, which is what I'm paying for Cobra right now. Anyway, Silver Simple Primary Care uh, Physician Saver. I mean, so there you go, man. I mean, is this gonna get the job done? I would think so. I mean, hopefully, I don't need a lot of care. Uh, four hundred bucks a month, and that's in Georgia. I don't know what Oscar is. There's Kaiser. I think Oscar's a. They didn't. Uh, I think Oscar's one who does the the uh, the uh, ads. Like they wouldn't see me because I'm black. And I'm like, oh god, are we still doing this, man? It's it's at least here in Georgia. I don't know your neck of the woods. They had these ads. That some black guys said they you know they wouldn't see me because I'm black. It's like no one does that, dude. It's insane. Anyway, so there you go. So there's there's the the how this works. But the question is, how do you qualify for your premium credits? And we got to look at what your income is. To, uh, you got to know your income. All right, so your income is your modified adjusted gross income. As long as it stays less than four times the poverty level, and again, this case it would be for you and your spouse, uh, just two, it'd be less than uh, 72000 bucks. As long as it's less than $72,000, you qualify. I mean, that's, that's some significant savings. But we got to remember, non-taxable Social Security benefits will flow back to your 1040 and a full back to your Maggie. I cannot stress this enough. This is so you have to have income to live on. I get that, but if you're taking Social Security and we go to your 1040 here, and you have Social Security benefits in line, it'll be in line 6A now. And this is the older things, but I'll show you. Um, I'll just go down to tax. A new. This is going to be fake, but uh, actually, let me just show you this actually. So there we go. This is a fake one. But look, they got Social Security benefits of $104,000, right? But their taxable Social Security benefits are only $13,000. This is not what matters. Is this that matters. So right there alone, if they had Social... Now, this won't matter because they're over 65, so they're on Medicare anyway. But if this were you and you had non-taxable Social Security benefits of a significant amount, that could violate your ability to qualify for Obamacare premiums. Anyway, point being is... You take all of your income, uh, your AGI, and look, here they got no AGI. Um, adjusted gross income is right. Uh, they're 13000 is their AGI. All right, then you take your AGI and you add back your Social Security benefits. Now, here's the, so here they'd use 104 for their Maggie because they got no other benefits. All right, so anyway, what happens here is if you've got to look at Obamacare, you're taking all of your income, you're using your AGI plus your non-taxable Social Security benefits. And again, if you're under the age of 62, this is a non-starter. Unless you have widow's benefits or if you have child care benefits or something like that. It's just you got to be careful there, man. There are reasons not to take Social Security early. And then you have tax-exempt interest, a la municipal bonds. So as long as you keep your income where was the, uh, below these thresholds, that's a big deal. That's a lot of money. Now, again, is a plan going to be any good? I don't know. But it's freaking worth looking into for sure. All right. Love your thoughts. We'll see you, man. Thanks now.